hi to you all and welcome again to our channel if you've been like me uh, a MATLAB user that does graphical user interfaces you know there are two modes in MATLAB to draw graphical user interface there is the guide mode graphical user interface development environment in which drawing the interface is very easy but when it comes to programming the interface uh, the code can be very messy right i like green code i don't know for you i like green code and uh, it can crash down at any time for some stupid reasons i don't know from from time to time it's really messy and uh, on the other hand there is another mode called the programmatic gui mode which is for me the best but it can be tedious there to draw the interface calculating all those positions i've gotten this courage many times in starting some projects just thinking about how to draw the interface calculating the positions and putting the objects meticulously one after the other so uh we've created in the computational engineering academy this particular code which enables us to use the strength of the guide okay and then migrate it to the GUI in order to focus the GUI just on the callbacks. So this code enables any programmer to design his interface on the guide very easily and then translate it into code that will correspond to uh, doing the GUI programmatically so that on the GUI programmatically you can focus just on the callbacks. So let's go ahead. The best way to explain this is by an example. So let's create a, a, a GUI very easily. And this question has come time and time again on the internet on how to actually do this. How do we migrate an interface created in guide to GUI? And uh, this is just a beginning of an answer, okay? Because this does not take into consideration the callbacks. So here you are just asked to draw your interface okay you just draw your interface here and immediately you have to migrate it to the GUI in order to to continue that way programmatically good so let's just start here maybe uh with this new figure let's draw the in an interface i want to use let's start by changing the background color of this figure right let's take something like this okay good so let's add some ui controls I'll add this push button and uh, let's try to change the font name, for example, to Cambria. Okay. Uh, so the tag here, the tag here represents the name of the object. Okay. This is what we use to identify this particular object. Okay. So it will be used as the property of everything to be able to know where a particular object you've created is found in the code programmatically. So let me call this confirm, for example. Okay, confirm. And then the string will also put there confirm. Okay, confirm. Let's try to change the size of that text. Uh, let's have it 12. And then uh, we'll change it to bold. Per adventure, we have something like this. Okay, so mm, from here, let's try to have. A list box that will pull. So all we need to do here is what we just need to change the style, the style to list. Okay, where is the list? This box. Okay, and then uh, let's change. Let's add some strings there. How are you, for example? Okay. So we'll have that, right? Let's try to remove the boldness of these ones. And why not make them italic, okay? Just for fun. Uh, I'll change the background color of this list. Let's have it cyan, for example. Yeah, okay. And then we'll add uh, a radio button. Okay, so just to say choose. Right, so we'll tag the radio button. It's okay, we'll leave it like that. Let's try to add an axis this way. 
okay we'll put the color of the axis uh, where is the color the color the color the color we'll put the color of the axis let's say yellow for example and leave it at that okay so this is an interface for example let's say okay let's assume this is the interface that we would like to program so the first thing i will do is to save this i'll save this as test.fig okay so you generate this code this is the code we don't want to use okay this is the code we don't want to use we don't have full control over this and it messes up at will so uh i like green it's already orange from where I started programming. But anyway, this is not what we, sh we shall be using. We want to migrate this interface that we've created very easily with the guide, okay, to be reproduced um, in the programmatic key. So we need to generate code that will produce the same interface. Well, this is what this code that we've written does for you, right? So um, let's implement that. So the way to go about this is actually to come this way and then uh, and use the code, right? So um, the argument in is the name of of the figure, the test.fig that we have here, right? So remember, it has to be in the same path. It has to be in the same path with uh, with the code. You can always edit the code to to make it more functional, to make it better, right? So we'll say test dot dot fig and what happens it has generated a test gui uh a test gui script this way it has gui function which when we open this is what is generated it has automatically generated a code for you which has converted the the guide into a gui so in this code now you can come you can go ahead and start adding uh, some callbacks right so this is the main figure as you can see this is the famous radio button okay you see the comments here gives you the name of each of of the object this is the confirm this is the confirm push button this is the axis right and it has created taking into consideration certain properties and you can always edit the code to add more properties right but if i launch that this is it right so what do you see it is a perfect reproduction of of the other guy right you see them both okay so that's it and you are good to go programmatically with this all you need to do is just to edit this and go ahead so this eases the graphical user interface drawing process very very much so to get this code you just follow the description below right just follow there is a link in the description below that leads you to our github repository for this code you just need to go there and then pull it or download it for yourself okay so uh i hope this helps give us a comment below to tell us how this code uh helps you if uh, you fall in contact with this and uh, we have much more tutorials on our channels for you you can go ahead and check it out um see you next time bye bye